Teaching and Finance Communications and More Development? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The when this evaluation was set up, we've got copies to the board and asked the board what they would like deleted or added, and we did not receive much of a response at all in terms of adding anything, as I recall, and nothing to delete. So as a board, the message was, here's what we're going to use for the evaluation tool. So that's how they got on there. And I'm just wondering where they, where they came from. They're not the ones they on were, the website. Well, right. well we took different, uh, we, if you remember, we put different samples of school board uh, self-evaluations in, mm -hmm. and they were looked at, and that, that's how it was derived. So the four goals were from another example, or were these intended to be our goals, or they just came with this tool? And we just no, they, when, we, when we got the several samples, everybody said, well, I like this, I like that. So we put a template together. Mm -hmm. We sent it out to everybody and said, do you like this? Correct it, add to it, delete, you know, whatever. And that was the document that you filled out was the document that the board agreed on to use for the evaluation tool. I would consider it. Well, I would say the answer question was a compilation of things on document that you could modify. Absolutely. And, and there are other examples out there. I think um, at one time, I think Janet at a conference you went to, you had um, found some examples of other board self-evaluation component. Um, so that would be something maybe that we want to put on our list to take a look at again. Yeah. Um, any comments on that section? Well, can we add to our, our list of, you know, what is the process of developing these goals? Are they annual goals? The board should, I think, have some role in setting some goals, I guess. Whether we, I mean, we probably define what the administration's role is and what the board's role is because we've done it different ways. Since the last time you came with the goals, before that we made them, I, it was, I remember there was boards around the room. And well, I let's be in. clear. Board asked me to come forward with some ideas for goals, which I did. You were given the opportunity to critique them, add, delete, whatever. So they were my goals. I was asked to do before that. Uh, we sat out here with the easel and, and had everybody give input and so on. And then the board goals were constructed off of that. So there's a variety of ways to do it. Uh, the critical thing is, is that is this a, a tool to evaluate the board or is it a tool to evaluate other things? As far as board goals go, I don't think the board goals that we have are really board goals. I think if we, when we write our board goals, they need to be things that we are going to do as a board. You know, like for example, I, I can't remember the exact wording of the um, student achievement goal that Mr. Cady said is just absolutely unattainable or something like that. It was 100%. Oh, we need to, yeah, the ACT. That's really not our goal. In my opinion, that's going to that we are going to do as a board. But I think we talked about moving the goals on to the next board, right? Which yes. really doesn't have anything to do with right. the board evaluation as we have right now. Right. Okay. I think right now our task is to dis to discuss what's here, mm -hmm. evaluate what's here, and respond to um, Debbie's question. And uh, maybe you know you can make a list and then that will all. Again, all the questions and the critiques that you have, and maybe we need to come back another time about recreating or creating a new evaluation. But right now, we have to talk about what it is we were supposed to be evaluating. I get the feeling that whatever we're talking about, we're really picking it apart, and it's becoming tedious. And when it becomes tedious, we don't make any progress. And so I think we should stick to our task, which is to evaluate right now what is in front of us, and if we want to change this, use another time to develop those changes. So right now I'm looking for, does anyone have any comments on this section, on the board goals? We, we've pretty much established that we need some new board goals, we're going to do this in a different way, we'll look at some other tools. I, I, would, I would just say in your board development, uh, each individual probably just has to identify what they feel their needs are and make sure that they have some means of Section two of the board meetings. Any comments, questions on board meetings? I know I've heard that um, we definitely need an update on the use of Robert's Rules of Order. We don't have to use Robert's Rules of Order, though, am I correct? And there's also another way of running board meeting policy governance.
that's also another method that uh, 